Here is my review and recap of Obi-Wan Kenobi Season 1, Episode 5. All right, I'm calling it right now. I'm telling everybody right now, based on what we saw in this episode, Qui-Gon Jinn is still alive. Mark my words, he is alive. And that's why Obi-Wan can't communicate with him, because he's not dead. (laughs) All right, let's talk about this episode. Um, This episode was interesting. It was the best episode of the season, but at the same time, it had some of the most lazy writing we have seen yet in the whole series. I'm going to talk about what I really liked about the episode and what I thought was just uh, a cheap trick. All right, so we get some flashbacks in this episode. Now, albeit it's not the flashbacks we were hoping for. Everybody was hoping that we would get some kind of a Clone Wars flashback with Obi-Wan and Anakin fighting together. We didn't get that in this episode, but we did get a whole entire sequence of them uh, sparring together and Anakin, you know, learning some stuff from Obi-Wan. Now, what he learned during that was not to be so brash and to just rush into things, which I thought was a completely unnecessary scene simply because Vader, you know, at one point, Obi-Wan makes the comment that Vader's going to be so blinded by me, he's not going to see you to Reva. Uh, And we'll talk about the whole Reva, Obi-Wan thing here in a few minutes. But that whole comment, you know, we've already had an event that's going to make Anakin only see Obi-Wan to begin with. It's what happened on Mustafar and him leaving him there, you know, all cut up. I think that alone is going to get him to want to go after Obi-Wan. So we didn't need this extra scene. It was cool to see, and it was in the episode, but it wasn't completely necessary. I think this episode also makes the entire episode before it completely unneeded. We could have basically gone from episode three skipped four and almost gone straight into five. We didn't really need an episode two. They could have gotten the same effect for what they were doing through a season or through episode three. So I thought episode four was kind of a throwaway episode. There were a couple of cool things in there, but I really enjoyed episode three and I really enjoyed this episode a lot. Now, let's talk about where we have some writing issues here. Well, well, first, let's talk about what was really good. We had Vader being Vader. Uh, I thought he was spot on again in this episode, and I really liked when he pulled the freighter down and, you know, tore the sides off. They even had the little grunts in there with showing his frustration and his anger trying to get at Obi-Wan. So that was really well done. But the episode wasn't perfect. Uh, I thought the whole Reva backstory was it should have been more fleshed out throughout the season. We had the one little clip at the beginning when Order 66 went down. We all assumed she was probably Reva, and it did end up being Reva. But, you know, for her actions to, for her to go after Vader and want to go get him and take him down, she sure is killing a lot of people along the way. And, you know, she's she's kind of a, anti-hero uh, because she was willing to kill a lot of other people just to get to Vader, which doesn't make sense because she she's already had access to Vader several times. And so Vader made it seem like he knew the whole time what she was doing, the entire time she's been there. Well, he already made the comment in the previous episode that if she didn't bring Obi-Wan to him, he was going to kill her. And he had the chance in the last episode, and that was one of my complaints is that he didn't snap her neck. And they leave her alive in this episode. She's a pretty powerful inquisitor. She's definitely more intuitive and more in tune than the other ones. The, they make all the other ones look like buffoons. And they just let her live, assuming she's she's spent this whole time trying to get revenge. You don't think she's going to come back and get even more revenge? And what's with all of these people getting stabbed through the chest with a lightsaber and surviving? They The, the Grand Inquisitor survives just because of his his anger and wanting to get revenge on Reva. And then Reva survives because of her wanting to get revenge on Vader. And then that's when she finds out about Luke. Like it it, it all seems pretty contrived. Uh, I mean, by that, like I said, by that standard, Qui-Gon should still be alive. I don't understand. uh, I don't know. The, the, The writers were very lazy with how they crafted this story. And it's like, oh, we need to make him alive, so we're just going to say his his hatred allowed him to survive getting stabbed through the chest with a lightsaber. I, I just, I, I don't understand the laziness in the crafting of the story. 
with the episodes that we had and the extra fluff, we could have had a more fleshed out Reva story that was more compelling. And we definitely could have had uh, definitely more of what the fans were looking for. The bat, the, the, the bat, you know, the scene for the, you know, the, um, what do you call it? The flashback should have been uh, more of something more engaging of what people were expecting to see. I mean, we had one clone trooper in one of the episodes, you know, the that first or either, se- I think it was the first episode, could have been the second, but we haven't seen anything with any of that since. So here's the good news. The next episode is rumored to be about an hour, 40 minutes long. Uh, so I'm, I'm expecting about an hour and a half when after you get done with the six minutes of credits that they usually have and then the couple minutes of a recap. And it's probably going to be a pretty big recap going into the finale. It's probably going to be about an hour and a half. And I'm looking forward to that. And hopefully they can finish it off well. Hopefully it's done. It does the story justice. And we've got Ewan McGregor out there saying they are going to do a season two. So, well, he's hoping they do a season two. In fact, he said he'd be willing to come back and play this character a lot. He'd like to do this maybe every few years, come back and do another uh, another season. So hopefully they take him up on that. He, he's been Obi-Wan the whole time. Like, I've really enjoyed his character in all of this. We had some dramatic deaths in this that were really well done. Uh, There was quite a bit that was really well done. Now, the one thing that really annoys me about the whole series is the whole shaky camera. Uh, Anytime Vader was fighting Reva, anytime they were fighting the stormtroopers through the corridor, it was the whole camera the whole time is going like this. And I I really don't care for that. It's it's a creative decision by, uh, by Deborah Chow, and I... I don't like it. It actually got quite annoying in this episode, especially when they were fighting in the corridor. Either that shows me that they can't choreograph the scenes very well, or this is just in there to annoy people. I don't know. But overall, this was my favorite episode. I really like this in the third episode. Hopefully the final one can redeem the whole series because, you know, there have been a couple, one of these, you know, episode four, I really did not like at all. But I liked three and five, and one or two were serviceable. So it's going to be this last last episode that's going to uh, bring this series one way or the other, and I hope they can close it out pretty well. But I don't know what Reva's uh, intentions are going to be now if she goes there to to kill Luke. Like more than anything, with what happened with her, she'd want to go protect him. So I, you know, the the reports are that she's going there to kill him, and I don't I don't see that being. Uh, a plausible writing point at this stage. So we'll see what happens. I look forward to the finale. I will have my review up next week. I would have had this up yesterday, but my internet has been down. So I had to have a way to upload the video. Hopefully my internet will be restored soon, but uh, it will definitely be restored, but well, should be by uh, next week. All right, I do appreciate the support. If you guys like the video, please hit that like button. What did you guys think of the episode? And we'll see you on the next recap.